Let's talk about processors. I compared here two AMD processors. One's a Ryzen 1700X, which is a bit older, and a newer one, AMD Ryzen 3900X. Okay, I created a few charts here, and those are about compressing videos with Premiere Pro and PowerDirector version 18. And I used the HAVC codec with the 4K resolution at almost 30 frames per second and 50 megabits. So I used the newer processor, which is Ryzen 9, and the older one, which is Ryzen 7, and I compared them. The red one is Premiere Pro, and the blue one is PowerDirector. Now this is the render time, which is measured in seconds. So I rendered the same video, I just dropped a few clips on the timeline, no editing, nothing, and I just rendered them using that HAVC codec. And here's the result. The red one is Premiere Pro which required 487 seconds to render the same videos while PowerDirector, the blue one, required only 240 seconds. So PowerDirector renders much faster, more than double the time is needed for Premiere Pro. And the difference between the newer and the older processor is not too huge. So Premiere Pro required 487 seconds to render the same video and the older processor required 644 seconds to render the same videos. In case of power director there's a smaller difference from 262 seconds on the older Ryzen to 214 seconds on the newer Ryzen. So Premiere Pro renders much slower compared to power director. That's a bit weird. The difference is pretty huge. It's more than double for Premiere Pro here than there. Okay and Although Premiere Pro renders slower, the editing in Premiere Pro is much easier. You can render faster in PowerDirector, but you can edit much slower in PowerDirector. You don't have hotkeys for trimming the beginning and the end of a clip, for example, and the whole interface is much slower and so on. Okay, the average CPU usage. In this case, Premiere Pro uses much more processor, 94%, compared to 25%. On the older Ryzen, it used even more, 97%, compared to 43%. So in this case, on the older processor, PowerDirector used more CPU compared to the newer Ryzen. And although Premiere Pro uses much more CPU, it also also needs much more time to finish that rendering. So it's very weird, it uses a lot of resources and it finishes much slower the job, while PowerDirector uses much less resources and it finishes much quicker the same job. Highly weird, but that's what I got. The next one, average GPU usage, that is a graphics card. Now here's a difference, a major difference. PowerDirector uses much more GPU compared to CPU. So the CPU usage is low, the GPU usage is high. On the newer Ryzen processor, it used even more GPU compared to the older Ryzen, 28% versus 38%. And the processor temperature is also different. The older Ryzen 7 runs at much cooler temperatures, 42 degrees, the older one, compared to 74 degrees on the newer Ryzen. Here's the same thing, Premiere Pro, since it's using much more CPU, it heated up the processor to 68 degrees compared to 42 degrees. So power director while rendering barely heated up the processor 42 degrees Celsius. In case of the newer Ryzen, both power director and Premiere Pro heated up the processor quite well. The temperatures are this high because I also limited the fan's rotation per minute from BIOS to make it more silent, so that's why it's that high, although I'm using a water cooler. The water cooler has just one fan, not two and not three, so the size of the radiator is smaller than many air coolers, so that's how the processor reached to those temperatures. 
the graphics card was a GTX 1070 and the motherboard uh, B350 from MSI so it's an older one I had to update the BIOS to use the newer Ryzen 3 3900 and that's it the newer processor is a bit faster it runs a bit hotter editing is much easier in Premiere Pro but rendering is much faster in PowerDirector